All right, guys, before this universe's video actually starts, I just want to let you guys know, or if you don't already know, Prisons is going to be resetting this Saturday at 3 p.m. EST. So if you guys want to check that out, be sure to hop on the server. Obviously, use my custom IP, all of that stuff, and comment any series suggestions you guys have down below in the comments. If you want another versus series on Prisons, I could try and find somebody. Or if you guys want like a default series, that's something I've never done on Prisons. We play with no rank, spend no credits. I feel like I might do that this season if that's what you guys want to see but yeah i just want to let you guys know about the brand new reset in today's episode but go ahead and enjoy the let's play yo guys what is going on it is royal here today back for another episode of the universes versus series here on royal.oplegends.com of course if you guys want to come check out the server please consider using that custom ip because whatever you guys do it does directly support me and the channel now guys um obviously we are doing a verse series against jewelfish if you've been uh, living under a rock for a while but just in the last episode um i took a couple days break so we're not gonna have as many stars as we did week one which sounds kind of crazy to say but i thought you know i'd give jewelfish some sort of chance to beat me this week i took like a three day break after payout but we started grinding in the last episode and i ended up setting up this gen farm right over here and i don't believe jewelfish has a gen farm i don't think he knows how to make one i'm going to be honest with you if i go to realm visit jewelfish real quick you guys can see his gen farm real yeah this is it this is literally what he has going on in his gen farm so absolutely terrible which means if we just build any sort of gen farm um we started super late as well but it meant we were going to be able to easily beat him in the afk universe so that's why we went ahead built a gen farm in the last episode and in today's video guys right now in the intro the farm is completely full i haven't even been afk for that long but this thing is packed to the brim we have sixty-eight thousand cherry saplings in uh yeah literally just right there so we're about to sell this entire farm in this clip we do have a 3x rank currency booster and we have some sell wands um these are kind of the only sell wands that i own but really quickly let me come over here we're gonna hit like sell alls is my inventory my inventory is not relatively empty but hopefully we get a decent amount of afk stars i don't know how many afk stars we're gonna need to be able to place in the afk realm because last week we uh, obviously had a little bit of afk stars it was basically nothing Nothing, but the amount we had was so minuscule that we literally didn't even place in the afk universe at all so i know i don't have the greatest of gens i literally placed these down like a couple days ago but hopefully this is going to be enough to just place and get some sort of trophies back if we do hit a bow on jewelfish real quick you guys can see none of his stars have really oh i thought this just cleared bro but yeah none of his stars have really moved he still has more winter stars than me but i swear that's all he grinded and i'm not sure how much grinding i'm gonna be able to get done before value resets so he might beat me in that universe okay Okay. There's still a possibility that we can make the comeback though. All right. I'm not giving up on it just yet. Anyways, bang, we sold all that and we are already at 125 million AFK stars. Now let's start selling all of this. Wait, oh my God, I'm a sellout, bro. I don't have my money pet equipped. I'm glad I noticed that before I sold a bunch of these chests, but boom, I believe that gives you a boost on your AFK loot as well. So yeah, I'm glad we went ahead and did that. We are getting like $2 million dollars per chest which is absolutely amazing we're definitely gonna hit some upgrades here on the gens as well because uh we have afk orbs we don't have a ton but we might as well just use them if we have them because there's no other use for them besides literally upgrading your gens now i don't think jewelfish has uh been online since the last episode and if you guys don't know in the last episode i think it was the last video i ended up making a little spot to hide my stars because jewelfish was talking trash about how i'm never online so i kind of wanted to keep that going so he doesn't go on like a crazy grinding spree right if i just hide my stars he'll think i just never logged on this week and he has a free win which will not be the case because clearly we are beating him in every single realm right now besides the arctic dimension but here we go coming up on the end of the selling process guys 540 million afk stars surely that's going to be enough to place just place give me some sort of trophies even if we place like top 100 i will take it and we still have like another two days or day and a half before the reset so now let's go ahead and start upgrading all of these gens i doubt we're gonna be able to hit an upgrade on every single one and it looks like we moved on to wood gents um kind of ugly but there's nothing we can really do about it and i somehow just hit a double upgrade on that so now we're gonna have birch wood gonna hurt my ocd a little bit but we're gonna have to deal with it so boom that was one layer done actually no we might be able to hit multiple upgrades how many afk orbs did that actually take it actually seems relatively cheap okay i lied we are 100% going to be able to hit some double upgrades on these, so let's just go ahead and get that done. 
I've been misclicking all over the place anyway, so I'm gonna take the second process a little bit slower. But yeah, we should be able to get this entire farm to birch, which is pretty nice because that's a sizable upgrade right there. But now I believe it's costing like 500k per upgrade right now, which is, uh, I mean, could we hit a triple upgrade on our generators? I won't, I won't complain, bro. Okay, that is full birch wood done. I don't think we're going to be able to have enough to get full, what is this, jungle wood next? But uh, we might as well upgrade what we have because it will make extra money just while AFKing. But yeah, I don't even think we're going to be able to get two rows done of generators with this because, oh bro, we are running out of orbs so fast. We barely had enough to get this row done, but we'll head up here and hit as many upgrades as we possibly can on the top layer as well. And bang, we are completely poor, but did a decent amount of upgrading right there, bro. That was not bad at all. But now let's head over to my home hide, okay? We are gonna hide some extra stars slash bow. What are we working with? We have 300,000 farm stars. I, there's no way I put any stars in here, right? Yeah, I didn't have any farm stars whenever I made the shop, so literally all 300k, throw it in there, and then what else do we have? We have 14 million winter stars and 14 million slayer stars with 30 million lakes. So, uh, winter, we'll go ahead, come over here, put 14 million in there, and wait, how much is that? How much do we have in here? We have 20 million winter stars in here, bro. Foul jewelfish? I am only 3 million winter stars behind Jewelfish right now. That is actually very, very solid. Another 14 million here, so we'll have like 104 million Slayer stars. And then Lake, we have a whopping 30 mil. Hide that. And bang! I think we're good like that, bro. Now, I don't really have anything planned for this episode, but I do know I want to keep progressing in the Arctic dimension, but I do have a couple other servers to play right now. So I'm not sure how much grinding we're going to be able to get done right now, but in this episode, we will definitely be hitting some more upgrades in the Arctic dimension. In the last episode, we made a ton of progress on our shovel, and we also ended up adding an extra modifier right here. And it looks like I have to grind out a quick little 3 million winter stars just to make sure we can beat Jewelfish in every single universe. And again, he'll have no clue because I haven't even uploaded my last video yet where I showed that I was actually hiding stars. So I think he might believe that he is winning this week, which uh, is not the case. It's about to be a 2-0 sweep out here. But since we are gonna focus grinding Arctic, I wanna look at my skills. Um, what level were we? Was that 36? Wow, 36 is actually pretty high, but I wanted to get to level 35 or 45, sorry. That is mad far away. I wanted to get an extra crystal loot box, but I unfortunately don't think that is gonna be possible. I'm not sure how many blocks that's actually gonna take. I'm gonna assume like a million raw and we're not getting a million raw in today's video. But on Saturday, they usually drop updates anyway, so there might be a brand new crate out that we can pop open in this video. And yeah, I guess I'll just take a cut right here. Next clip is probably gonna be whenever payout is semi me close to happening and we'll see all of our stars all of our balances and see if we can beat jewelfish in every single universe but until then i'm just gonna keep grinding arctic and yeah we'll see you guys in the next clip all right guys we are back and it is about 10 minutes before payout and we have some news okay not like it's gonna be anything uh super surprising but we have won the second week of the Versus series, and that is because Jewelfish completely forgot to deposit his stars, and now he is no longer home. Payout is in nine minutes. He's not going to be able to make it, but I did ask him if all of the stars in his balances were everything, and I wanted to make sure he wasn't hiding anything so I could just get like a cheap win, but he said everything in his balance was literally all of his stars for the week, which means he basically only played um, the Arctic universe. And if I actually go over to the Arctic or I should go over to my slash realm and hit a home hide. If I take out my winter stars real quick, we have 20 mil in here. Withdraw all, if I hit a bow on me, we have 24.6 million winter stars and Jewelfish has 23.1 million. So we have officially beat Jewelfish in every single universe on the server which is absolutely nuts but since jewelfish isn't gonna be home i'm kind of thinking guys am i insane for thinking we might be able to place in the fifth place uh g top spot not this week but if i hold my stars for this week grind a little bit in the next week bro am i insane for thinking maybe we can place g top number five because i am a versatile player you know we're well rounded in every single dimension besides honestly the afk universe this one is still slacking like crazy but we did barely start on our farm i have to use alts on another server so i'm actually not afking this with an alt anymore if i look how much uh, loot do we have in here we might have 
a pretty decent oh my god the site is completely full actually let's hit a sell on this real quick we still have seven minutes before payout but guys i was also grinding in the slayer dimension because even though like the slayer stars is the most amount i have slayer stars are just so easy to get that i was actually scared that we weren't gonna place in the slayer universe because people have like 20 billion slayer stars and i only grinded like maybe 30 minutes in the slayer universe this week i feel like so i was grinding that a little bit before the end of payout just to try and get some extra trophies but i'm thinking maybe if we just save them we might be able to place top five next week don't quote me on that obviously but who knows you know anything is possible or maybe if i just like duo up with somebody if i duo with somebody a hundred percent we would be able to place i feel like but yeah, i had no clue this side was so full of uh, of items is this side even getting filled at all now okay this side still had a little bit of loot i don't know how high this is gonna go up to so i guess we just go ahead and keep on selling but that was super weird that the other side was so much fuller than this one and bang there we go sold the whole farm we have 880 million afk stars it's pretty bad but we do have 340 million afk orbs that we can once again use to keep upgrading our gen farm right here i can get another alt on this farm i might have to do that for the entire week next week loki it's probably worth it but yeah let me figure out something to deposit because we literally only need one trophy to technically beat jewelfish so i'm gonna deposit enough to just get you know one trophy and that is it let me just take a look at my balance real quick what do we have in here i mean two million lake stars will that be enough if i just slash gang um come over here deposit lake stars boom there we go if i look at my slash gang again we're 15th place with 2 million lake stars on the entire server that is sick work but guys take a look at g top all right we don't care about the top three obviously we have no chance of beating these guys they have billions and billions of stars but look at that. 500 slayer or 500 billion slayer stars and that's only third place what the hell but even g top number two there's no way this is their full depot because they only have 9 million lake stars guys i have 30 million sitting in a player shop but they do have 970 million winter stars again the top three and probably the top four are going to be impossible for us to beat or Hold on, no, 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 these guys are, they're not that rich. But still, it's probably not possible. These guys are only a duo, but I mean, fourth place is a duo, pretty solid. But these guys right here, this is the fifth place gang right now. If we take a look at their Slayer Stars, obviously, they're cooking me in that. I don't even have a billion, they have 15 billion. But Arctic Stars, I would be beating these guys. Lake Stars, I would be beating them. And then Farm Stars, I would be beating these guys as well as a solo. They do beat me in AFK stars, I believe, but only because I made my grinder like a couple days ago. So you guys let me know, am I actually tripping for thinking I can place G top number five next week as a solo? No, we just grind a couple hours a day, not anything super crazy, and we might be able to place, but uh, G compare, Royal K9, Jewelfish, let's just make sure you didn't deposit anything. Okay, technically speaking, we are winning the versus series just off that and again jewelfish won't be online payout isn't officially in two minutes so let's just go to home hide i want to see all of my beacon counts we already have our winter stars we'll take out like 300k farm stars farm stars are really hard to get for me personally but yeah 30 million lake stars in here not bad at all if i hit a slash of bow we have 300k farm stars 25 or yeah 25 million winter 30 million lake 400 million slayer and then almost 1 million afk all as a solo i could have done so much better this week if i actually grinded crazy i would have placed on gang top we could have probably got g top number four maybe oh wait no 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 it looks like people have full depot okay so these guys actually fell off at number five but if i like full grinded i think i could have beat these guys right here so we are going to be saving the rest of our star oh oh -hoo -hoo. never mind jarns wasn't placed but hopefully people slack next week and maybe we can place on there these guys just wasted so many stars that is tough i'm gonna say there was no way we were beating these guys as a solo yeah absolutely not and they actually ended up getting fifth but again kind of praying um some gang slack next week Krillix actually had the most afk stars bro on the entire server that's actually kind of crazy but bang there we go week uh two reset jarns obviously won again 498 trophies but i mean hey I'll take it. Officially 2-0 in the Versus series. He lost in every single universe this week. I don't think he lost in every single universe last week. Or did he? I don't know. Either way, we dominated this Versus series, bro. Again, for the third week, I'm going to try and place top five solo, but I can't grind it that much because I have a couple other servers to play. But, you know, maybe a couple hours here and there every single day might be enough. We'll see. But right now, I do still want to focus on the Arctic Dimension. I'm trying to upgrade this shovel right here it's not going terrible but you know it's not going great and actually there's probably going to be a weekly update that drops as well there might be a new crate bro if we could get some like op armor like star armor oh my god that might actually be huge 
I can't lie. But uh, yeah, I don't think they're going to drop the update right away. So I'm going to take a cut right here. In the next clip, we'll see if they drop an update. And we'll see where the rest of this series is going to go. All right, guys. We are back online. And I'm not going to lie, dude. We have not grinded in the slightest, okay? But I don't think that's really the point anymore. Uh, we've won the Versus series pretty much. So I think I'm just going to kind of play for fun. But right now, if I trade Ado real quick, he is going to give us some Winter Orbs in exchange for some uh, Tier 3 modifier boxes. Yeah, he has 470 bill. It's not a ton. But I mean, hey, it will, it will still help. So let's go ahead and claim that. That. let's go over to the arctic universe again i haven't really been grinding so yeah our shovel still isn't really close to max out i do believe we max out sturdy shovel though but yeah i don't really know how many people are even left playing this week of universes i know ado's obviously playing i feel like he's probably gonna get gang top number one i don't even think like eden cell is playing anymore so if we bow eden this might be our stars comp let me just g compare real quick ado royal k9 real quick who is in his gang i don't know if he's actually playing our no katie's probably still playing for creds i would assume i don't i don't know i'm thinking we might as well just deposit all of our stars and uh see what we end up with because g top has got to be cooked this week bro yeah this guy you know a couple million there a couple million there i'm just gonna deposit slash gang because the prisons is resetting here soon we have 900 million afk stars some of these some of those just deposit all of them and then if we hit a g top surely we're up there right no i don't think it's updated because there is actually no way we are not on there because i had more stars than all of this guy in every single aspect i think Ooh, actually what we could do is i can head over to my realm i believe we should have enough drops to hit a cell and maybe we could hit a billion afk stars but yeah we got plenty of drops over here i'm just gonna go ahead and like span this up dude um because i don't really care anymore um and then hopefully this will get us to a billion afk stars i'm sure we're missing plenty plenty of chests right here but bang hey got that all done now let's go ahead and fly up i'm trying to butterfly click it as fast as possible but i can't really butterfly click all that fast anyways bang there we go i think we sold most of it of course we missed a couple chests like this one right here definitely missed that but now we have 400 million stars again let's slash gang this should put us over the uh million because if i or the billion sorry yeah we're in second place right now with 900 mil we deposit that what are we actually at we're still second place bro who is first oh my god i have g top number one currently you know hashtag winning nothing too crazy over here but who has the number one afk stars um oh these guys right here at 1.8 billion afk stars we unfortunately won't be able to catch that but i am literally g top number one at the moment yo if we could win a week bro that would be absolutely amazing i know i said that i think at the start of this episode guys but we didn't end up really grinding but if we could just get g top number five secure some creds you know that would be really nice anyways now we do have 500 billion winter orbs let's go ahead i think we're just gonna try and start maxing stuff out bro boom throw it all on that and then I still have all of these keys, guys, that I still never opened. I was saving it for the Versus series, but turns out there wasn't enough comp. I didn't even really need them. But right here, we have all of these extra keys that I guess we're just going to go ahead and rip open. Now, if I do slash crates, we have... Um, oh, wait, these are farm keys. I did not mean to open that. I thought those were the loot crates. Right here, 1,000 loot crate keys. Let's pop all of these open. That got us to 200 billion orbs once again, which, I mean, an Arctic now isn't even that great. Pop all of these open as well. Now we are right back up to 500 bill, bro. It would take so long to max out the Arctic universe that it's not even funny. Or maybe not that long. Maybe if I just grinded for like a straight two days, maybe we can max out this universe. I don't really know. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. If you guys don't know, Prisons is resetting this weekend, I believe. This might either be uploaded on a Thursday or a Friday. I don't really know, but... Prisons is going to be resetting on Saturday. There is going to be a little showcase video. If you guys have any series uh, suggestions for that, let me know. But definitely come hop on, check out the brand new Prisons Realm. It's going to be dope. And yeah, that's that's pretty much a wrap for the Versus series, bro. We did dominate as per usual. Definitely expected, haven't lost a Versus series in uh, nine years. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like. Sub if you guys are new. Obviously, come check out the brand new Prisons Realm that is resetting with royal.oplegends.com, Java, and Bedrock compatible. And yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next episodes on the channel.